yeah, town townhome situation, and we've got a 80% furnace located in a closet. It's kind of tight in here. The existing furnace is 16 inches, so um, you know, 17 and a half. We have a little bit of room on the side. It's two two and a half inch, and then we got we do have the electrics coming in, so we really don't have a lot on this um, right side at best half an inch. So we'll be able to just squeeze in the B width furnace. Right now the air is coming in through the bottom. It's going to pop around the other side. You can see the return grill. So the air, return air is coming in through the bottom and it's going through a filter um, in the bottom. So the, right now that base is like nine inches high. So we, when we come back with the new furnace, um, it's going to be the same configuration with the, the air coming in. So it's a 16 by 25 by one inch filter that's being used. I don't see any big changes on that. You see the shut off for the gas. Um, the condensation line is running underneath a water heater. You can see the tray, the safety pan. Um, so that's good. Line set will be flushing that, recharging uh, with the new 14A refrigerant. You can see there's a 5 inch flue that's coming out, and that's feeding the 4 inch on the uh, furnace. So that's all the size right. We'll reconnect to that. So, yeah, 40 inch furnace. And then we have uh, from the top of the furnace right to this kind of drywall. Well, it's actually not drywall, it's still metal, it's just painted white. We have 32 inches. So actually a little more than that. We've probably got closer to 36. As far as access is concerned, we're close to a front door, so we need some floor coverings down. Probably take off this um, sliding door, give yourself some room. That's it.